Uh, I think uh, we're, we're, we're a better basketball team. Um, we're much improved in some areas. Uh, I like our depth of our team. Um, those are all good positive things. I thought we had a positive scrimmage yesterday with James Madison. Uh, was very good for our players to play against uh, some really athletic guys, some long guys. Um, I think our, our, our main guys had some success. Our younger guys struggled a bit and uh, getting used to the speed and athleticism of college basketball. But overall, I thought we had a very good scrimmage with them down there yesterday. So we had some positive things to build on. I think for us, it, it, you know, we had some things happen here the last two weeks injury-wise that have really, uh, um, you know, can down the road, they're, 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 they are going to affect us. Uh, Tim Abruzzo, who played a great deal last year, was really having a great fall camp uh, towards ACL, so he's out for the year. And that really, uh, felt, really felt obviously horrible for him. Uh, but he worked really, really hard, put on great strength, was really playing well, really counting on him to play a lot of wing minutes, and, um, and so he won't be able to do that. Um, Bor Smith had mono until probably 10 days ago, so he's just starting to get really back into the flow of things. Um, Kendall Knorr hasn't practiced, but I don't know, maybe four or five times all year so far. He's had a knee problem that uh, seems to want not not cooperate with with treatment, so he hasn't practiced much at all. Uh, and then obviously, he's played a lot of minutes his first two years. And then uh, Mike Brown put, uh, uh, strained his hamstring last week, so he hasn't practiced in a week. So we, we've had some nagging things that haven't gone away. Uh, obviously, Tim's injury is very serious, and that's going to require surgery here in two weeks. Um, so it seems like uh, you know our wing players. We, we've had to play some younger kids, and um, so they're just trying to grow in, in, into those positions. Um, I think we've had good leadership. I think uh, Kevin Alter has been uh, is the team captain. I think he's provided good leadership, along with um, Or Smith and Brandon Venerini and Arnold McClure and the other three seniors. Um, so that's been positive. I think um, some players have improved that you might not have seen a lot of last year. I think Ed Alade's improved um, a great deal. He started the scrimmage yesterday, had a nice outing. I think Grant Vermeer, who played a lot early last year, has really improved. He started the scrimmage yesterday. And then um, I think those have been really two real positive uh, things. I think Zach Fong has improved as a player. Um, not only shooting the ball, but adding some things to his game offensively, and now uh, starting to buy into rebounding the basketball and playing, you know, not like a freshman anymore, um, taking on the physicality of the game. So I think those three guys have really shown, you know, remarkable improvements. He's okay. I think it's taken some. It's going to take some time to. Uh, get him back in the flow of things. And I think we've improved as a team. I think challenges and practices are much more challenging for him now, uh, which is a good thing. And um, he had an okay scrimmage yesterday um, in my, my evaluation. But I'm a hard grader, as my staff tells me. Um, you know, and I have to be a hard grader. So he needs to play better for us and uh, can play better for us. But, you know, it has its heart when you don't play all year. and then. Um, you only played nine games last year. Then you come in and now you're, you're practicing and things are new and the speed of the game for him is, is different. So, uh, you know, I think he, he will be fine. Is he there yet? No, he's not where he needs to be. But I don't think anybody is in the first end of, end of October. But uh, he did some good things yesterday in the practice. Um, is it more... Uh, Getting up to the pace, as you say, as yeah, opposed to just rusty. With yeah, skills. speed of the game is yeah. an issue, and, and you know, and I call it, and no disrespect, but the stuff sometimes these guys play in the summer is not basketball. When they go down to wherever they play, pick up, and all of a sudden, sometimes I think they they really uh, gather bad habits, um, walking, 
Uh, <laughs> they, they all like they all want to do all this stuff, and all of a sudden I go, "That's a walk." You move your left foot before you put the ball down. You know, you went left right before you put the ball down. So it's all little bad habits, you know. And then so we we the last three weeks have tried to correct a lot of habits. Not only him, but some other guys too. You know, when they go home, they they play. You know, I don't know what they call it, um, but it's not basketball. Um, so then you have to come back and try to break all these habits. No issues has done very very well. Um, that sort of thing has had great growth. Um, great maturity, and that's wonderful to see as well. Um, very, very coachable. Um, Till's very coachable and wants to try to do the right things. He just wants to be really good, and and um, you know it's a process. You just can't say, okay, I've been playing a while, I'm going to be good. You know, it just doesn't happen that way. But uh, off the floor, it's been wonderful. The kids academically did well, and then. We got 12 week exams next week, but six week exams, they all do very well. So, we're, you know, we're, we're, good, we're in good shape that way. No, not at all. No one is. I mean, no, no one is. I think, you know, where Smith is, was out for so long, but he's played pretty well here in the last 10 days. Um, Benarini's played pretty solid basketball. Do I need him to be better? Yeah, I'd like him to. You know, Venerini uh, did a nice job last year around the point. He was a very, very hard uh, um, circumstance he was thrown into, and I thought he responded very well. I'm hoping that's going to make him a better player this year. Have the ball in his hands, have the ball with, you know, not in his hands. So uh, he had to uh, adjust his game last year, and I'm hoping it's going to help him this year throughout the year. What, what I want, you know, Brandon Venerini to do now is to affect the game more than just making shots. You know, you're a senior, first of all, you've got to make other guys better. Um, and then the second thing is you've got to affect the game in other ways by making baskets. You've got to be a rebounder now. You've got to be a better defender. You've got to be a better court leader on the, on the floor. You've got to be better in the locker room. You, you know, now it's to the seniors. I mean, they, they should have this other stuff behind them and where they can grow as a player and try to make other guys better and, and affect the game in other ways. No, I don't think it, you know, you know, no, I don't think it, it does and it doesn't. Um, you know, I, I think he's a good player and we're trying to get him to play to his strengths, but I think hopefully we have some other guys that can take some burden off him. I think his freshman year he had to do a lot of things because we weren't, you know, talent-wise we weren't. We didn't have any a whole lot of help, and now I think we've got some more help. I think some guys have grown. I think the seniors have grown. I think the juniors have grown other than him. You know, Kendall Noor hasn't played. Will Kelly's got a little better. The sophomore class has improved, and I think our freshman class has got some guys that can help us. So, um, you know, is the important part of what we're trying to do? Yeah, yeah, very important. But you don't have to do it all. You know, you can, you can, uh, you got to trust other guys on the team that they, they can, you got some guys can do some things as well. Yeah, we better be better defensively. Um, we weren't bad at taking care of the ball last year. We didn't have a lot of turnovers per game. Uh, we couldn't make baskets, but, uh, and I thought defensively, um, we didn't, we haven't played as well as we need to play. And uh, part of it is who we are, and part of it is, you know, we're going to make, more concentrated effort to do that and um, you know we need to be better uh, we've changed some things we try to do defensively uh, we actually have changed some things I've thought about over the summer and, and did some some thinking and so we're changing some some philosophical things we're trying to do uh, where we're forcing the ball how we're rotating and so forth just to try to make it easier for guys um, so we'll see if it's if it's better for us it needs to be. We had a guy yesterday, two kids from Naps that stood out yesterday were uh, Sean Alexander, or shoot, Sean Anderson, Sean Anderson and um, Tom Lacey. Both played pretty well in the scrimmage yesterday, both kids from Naps. Mm -hmm. um, I think those two kids had good good outings. Norris Fox is a point guard. We're hoping that he can um, provide some some backcourt play for us at the point guard spot. He was a Naps kid. Um, yesterday it was not a good game for him to kind of break into college basketball because the way they played um, did some good things, but you know it was more of a they they were more high pressure denial defense, and he wasn't used to that. So 
that was a little more challenging for him. I think the direct guys, um, we had a, we have a young guy named Bryce Doolin, who uh, is a freshman who I think has a chance to help us. Um, I, I think he has a, I think he has a chance to help us. Yeah, and, you know, we really would have had the luxury of a Bruzo when they got hurt and Kendall Knorr is not, you know, banged up and we can't figure out what's going on. So yesterday our first subs off the bench were Tom Lacey, freshman, because Mike Brown's hurt, and uh, Sean Anderson because Kendall Knorr, Tim Abruzzo is not here. Um, you'd like to be able to bring those guys along a little easier, but we are who we are. We've got some guys hurt, other guys got to step up and ready to play. We, and our job as a coaching staff is to try to get those guys ready to play. Uh, he's put on uh, a good amount of strength and weight, playing with much more confidence, uh, communicating on the floor better. Um, now he's only a sophomore and he'll have his days, but he had a pretty good day yesterday. Uh, affected the game, rebound the ball, blocked some shots, scored around the basket somewhat. And uh, so we, we we're hoping that he can continue to have his growth. He's had, he has, he's had really nice growth in three weeks of practice. Would it be fair to say that that's a big, you need another post? Yeah, Will Kelly? yeah, yeah, that's fair to say. And, and he's, a, he's a kid that, you know, he's a bigger kid, a little thicker kid, and he's got some pretty good offensive skills. He can shoot, he can make free throws. And uh, so he's, a, he's been a very good surprise. But he's worked hard. He's worked hard all spring and summer, especially lifting and getting stronger. Well, yeah, I think the Veterans Classic is just a great opportunity to showcase our our town, our community of Annapolis here, I think it's a great, a great opportunity to showcase the academy in, a, in our arena, uh, national TV. Uh, I know the other three coaches are very excited about coming here and playing. They're very excited about uh, Thursday, the day before the game, we're going to do some military things with the teams, and that's what they were really uh, interested in. So uh, all three teams are coming in on Wednesday night. Uh, they'll be here all day Thursday. Uh, we're going to do some military things with the kids the coaches on Thursday, um, giving them a different perspective on life at the academy and, and what they're accustomed to. And then um, Thursday night we, we have a dinner with all the teams and so forth and, and uh, they will be able to share in some fellowship and we're going to bring some, bring a group of uh, veterans in from Bethesda to uh, talk to the kids and discuss their military service and their military commitment and some of unfortunately some of their injuries and so I think uh, I think the young people will get a different perspective on life and different different perspective on what our veterans really do and um, and so that'll be cool and uh, and sense that they'll be able to talk to some guys and then we'll you know we'll tip it off Friday and play in Michigan State and and VCU are both top 20 teams in the country preseason, so it's a great field. Um, and uh, hopefully, we'll, I think it, we're pretty close to being a sellout and uh, should be a sold out arena. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun night.